in the name of Jesus. Be thou exalted, be thou glorified. I give you the praise in the name of Jesus. Angels begin to ascend. Angels begin to overshadow everyone now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shout this loud and clear. Say every power. Shout this prayer loud and clear. Say every power. Assigned to block my voice. Every power assigned to silence my voice. You see, one way or the other, amen, every man has a voice. And why would the Lord release a trumpet? Why would the Lord give us a trumpet to sound an alarm? It's because sometimes we don't have the ability to hear. Amen. And when a trumpet is introduced in the prophetic, amen, it is an introduction of a new sound. A new sound, a new sound, a new alarm that announces a new season. Amen. So when black Bartimaeus began to cry, the Bible said the more he cried, the more they tried to silence him. Why? Because they didn't want his voice to be heard. There are forces and there are elements from your father's house that has been contending that your voice will silence. If your voice is a voice of revival, the enemy will try to cut your voice as it did for John the Baptist. The enemy will always try to eliminate every voice of revival, every voice that will bring impact to your family, every voice that will try to crush the powers of the Father's house. And today, you are going to pray today. Amen. With aggression. You are going to open your mouth with thunder. Are you hearing me today? Every power that is silencing the voice of my destiny. Every power that is silencing the voice of my life. Every power that is silencing the cry of revival in my life. Let that power be the Mantle by the power of the blood. Amen. Are you hearing me today? Are you ready for prayer today? The, listen, to, listen to me. The Bible says that Moses, a small baby, he was positioned. And this baby was left in a manger. Hallelujah. In a basket. And the Bible says the baby began to cry. Cried. And guess what? It wasn't everybody that heard the voice. But except this woman. This woman called uh, uh, Pharaoh's daughter. He heard the voice of Moses. He heard the voice of Moses. Amen. And, she, and, she, and that baby got help. He got assistance. And he called the mother to come and help. Some of us are crying. And it's our enemies that are hearing our voice. And they are laughing. This, our voice must be heard by our helpers. You are going to cry out today. Ah! Mago Roko Suko Rabba Baradia. Said the, my voice of my destiny. Say, my voice of greatness. Please pray this prayer. Say, my internal voice of greatness. My voice of greatness. Cry out by fire. Are you ready for that prayer? Cry out! By fire, opium at a thunder fire, regate the rebebeca perebeca fire, a cacura casebra and the ribia, barreca de rebebeca paya, laranda rabaca barrebia baradia. My voice must be heard, my Jehovah, a regate the rebebia, irregate the rebebeca perebeca paya, regate the rebebeca barabia, a regate the rebebeca perebia. My voice must be heard, illegate the rebebeca paya, regate the rebebeca paya barandia, irregate the rebebia, irrebe. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I said amen. I said amen. <laughs> Is your voice being heard today? Or it's been muted? You have to do a prophetic act. <laughs> Every power muting my voice. Pray this prayer. Every power from my foundation. Silencing my voice. What is your voice? Your voice is your e part. Your voice is what is your power to command. Your voice is your power to decree. Your voice is your power to say no. Hallelujah. When your voice is not heard in the court of law, amen, if your voice is not heard, you have agreed already to whatever. Until your voice is heard, halabalaba, that verse says, thou shalt decree a thing, and it shall be established. Whatsoever a man shall say, 
You will pray this prayer loud and clear. Libra Kadori Yahara Vadori Bebios. Powers ordained to silence my voice. I want us to pray. I want us to be encouraged. Hallelujah. Powers assigned to silence my voice. From my foundation. Expire by fire. Inspire by fire. Regebara gadara baba gabando rebebia. Ilegedere baba gabere bebia. Irregedere baba gabere bebia baradia. I see inspire by fire. Irregedere baba gabere bebia baradia. Libranda rebebere baba gabere baba gabere bebia. Irregedere baba gabarandia. Regedere baba rebebe gabere baba gabaya. Irregedere baba gabere bebia. Raba baba baba gabere baba baba gabere bebia. Irregedere baba rebebe gabere bebia. Esagadara baba baba gabere bebia. Ilegedere mando rebebe. In Jesus' name we pray. We are changing our realm of prayers now. Changing our realm of prayers right now. Hallelujah. Let us change our realm of prayers now. It's going to be serious now. Hallelujah. <laughs> Every strong man in my heavens. Wickedness in my heavens. Wickedness in my heavens. As I pray this morning, I say scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Every wickedness in my heavens. Every wickedness in my heavens. Ileria kotobreha. Ezene meka pala bakatilia. Rega zuka rakaderia. Lega zumbra nere meka toni kataya. Rega rega deri kapa. Rega zebria toni kataya. Abreka tola. Abreka tulia. Abreka tulia. Abrekatulia, a regaderica baracazana, a bracaderi memia, every caderica deria, a regaderi bebia baradia, a brekazoma handalia, a legadebraha, a regadebahaya, a lama de la mucosula. Thank you, my Jesus. Ego brababaya. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh, heavens over my destiny. What pain by fire? Open your mouth and fire prayer. Regadere rebe bege bere bebi abaradia. Oh heavens over my destiny. E regadere rebe bege abaradia. Lebran da ra da ra da ra da ra da ra kadia. E rebe bege bere bebe bege beria. Rebe bere bebe bege bere bebia. E la kadere ba ba rebe bege bere bebia. Raba ba rebe bege bere bebi abaradia. E la mando rebe bere rebe bege bia. Regadere rebe bere rebe bege baya. Raba ba rebe bege bia maradia. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want everyone to pray for me now. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. As Let's pray that upon the servant of God, that the Lord will begin to increase grace, multiply grace upon him. Hallelujah. Somebody say great grace. Hallelujah. Say, my father, my father, by your mercy, Pour your grace upon your servant. Go ahead and begin to pray. By your mercy, regadere abaradia, irregadere bebege bere bebe kabaya, labron do rababa rababa kaba, irababa kabanda rebebe abara. Lord, we need mercy today. Ezeketelia, ezana makapaya, irregadere bebe abaradia. Oh God, mercy, mercy, mercy. Sade bande re bebia baradi e reke de re bebe ke be re bebe ke be re bebia e la ka da re ba ba re bebe ke be re bebia e ra ba ba re ba ba ke be re bebia e reke de re bebe re bebe ke be re bebe re bebia e ra ba ba ka be re ba ba ya re bebia shanda ba 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 re bebe ke be re bebia e reke de re bebe re bebe ke be re bebia lo re bebe re bebe ke be re bebia in jesus name we pray i want to pray for that sister you have not got job I mean, you know, you tested me and I've just been troubled. Praying overnight for you. Mm -hmm. You have been looking.
losing so many things. Hallelujah. Losing so many things. I want you to pray this prayer loud and clear. Say, every mark of darkness, every mark of destruction, every mark of wastage, of wastage is somebody hearing the prayer today hallelujah say every mark of wastage every mark of wickedness there is a mark when an enemy places a mark on an individual everywhere you go people begin to see hatred over you they are attracted by the mark that is upon you. Amen? I, I, instead of your, the mark, the Bible says, henceforth let no man throw me for I bear in my body the marks of Jesus Christ. That mark attracts good people to your life. But when you have an evil mark upon you, it begins to attract people that has been assigned to torment you. People that has been assigned to destroy somebody will be attracted to you because of that evil mark. You pray this prayer and clear. Whatsoever mark that the enemy has placed over you to close good doors from your life, that thing must be shaken out of you. Sound this prayer loud and clear. Say, every mark of Satan, every mark of the wicked upon my life and my destiny be wiped out by the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Every mark of the wicked. Every mark of the wicked. I wipe it all by blood. I wipe it all by fire. Every mark of wastage. Lord, let the mark of the wicked be wiped out by the blood. The name of Jesus, the God that answers by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Paul said they are great and effectual at the home, but they are many adversaries. You're going to pray. Say, adversaries of my open door. Adversaries are signed against my door of favor. Scatter by fire. Open your mouth and thunder fire. Sagada bahala bakatilia. Every adversary assigned against my open doors. I said, scatter by fire. I said, scatter by fire. Regede rakada barakata rekataya. Lebron do robo kosunda haya. I command every door that was opened. Every door open in my life. Every door of opportunity. Eko randa ribebi abarandia. Every every opposition. Every evil gathering. I said, scatter by fire. El legedaria mandaraba kosunda haya. El legede lebando ribebi. Scatter by the blood. Scatter by fire. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shout this prayer loud and clear. If I will not open the heavens and pour you down a blessing. Say this loud and clear. <laughs> Say this weekend. Let the heavens over the conference be open.
Open your mouth and fire prayer. Reke de rebe beke beri ya karaba ya. Ira ke de rebe beke beri bebi ya. Reke de rebe beke beri bebi beke beri bebi ya. Reke de rebe beke beri bebi beri bebi ya. Ira ke de la bra ke de rebe beke beri bebi ya. Rebe bebe bebe beke beri bebi ya. Or rebe beke beri ya karaba deli ya. Zaka de rebe beke beri bebi ya baradi ya. Lebron de rebe beke beri bebi ya baradi ya. Or rebe beke beri bebi ya baradi ya. Reke de rebe beke beri bebi ya. Lord rebe beke beri bebi ya. Lord rebe beke beri bebi ya. Erebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebeb
In Jesus' name we pray. Just quiet, just quiet. Quiet. Ten seconds. Just ten seconds. Shout this prayer loud and clear. Shout this prayer loud and clear. Shout this prayer loud and clear. Say this loud and clear. Say, my God to my heavens. Jesus. Open by fire. 
Open your mouth and thunder fire. Regedere be 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 kapaya. Ilegedere be be abaradia. Regedere be 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 be. Regedere be 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 be. Reba ba 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 My door in the heavens connect me to greatness. I say open by fire. Regedere be 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 be. Legedere ba 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 ba. Reba ba 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 ba. Reba ba 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 my doors in my heavens. What pain now in the name of Jesus? Rakadari Bebia, Erekadari Bebia, Libra de Rebebega Berebia, in the name of Jesus, Erekadari Bebega Berebia, my door of greatness, Erekadari Bebia, that has been closed by the enemy in my heavens. What pain by fire? What pain by fire? What pain by fire? Masa de Rebebega Berebia, Erekadari Rebebega Berebia, Ilabra Rebebia, Erekadia. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Arre bebe 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 Dios. Arre bebe 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 Dios. In the name of Jesus. How many of you are ready for what God is about to do? Amen. There is a surge of authority and His glory being released even as we speak. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Ah, Barash. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Whew. I don't know why I haven't left my iPad. I keep leaving it out. I keep leaving it. Amen. Praise God. <clears throat> we give you the glory. Father, in the name of Jesus, let thy hand be upon everyone today. Let thy hand be upon our destiny. Lord, in the name of Jesus, as we get into your word, there are deep mysteries within your world. Deep mysteries, deep mysteries, deep mysteries. There are deep mysteries, oh God, within this world. Spirit of God, I pray that, Lord, you bring everyone now before your presence. That as we dine with you, oh God, Father, let everyone become a rema before our spirit. As we dine with you, unfold hidden mysteries. Forward, he the revelations draw us closer, draw us into your presence, minister to us, awake our faith, stir us up in the name of Jesus. Let the secret mysteries of your world be revealed, unveiled before us in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Bless everyone who could be welcome. Just a few days more for the crusade, for the event. Today's the seventh. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Mm, praise you, Jesus. I hope the Lord will help us today. I love you, Holy Spirit. Of you, Holy Spirit. Amen. You know, sometimes when the heavens are open, there's some things, unique things that begin to take place. Amen. Some mighty things, mighty things, mighty things. Hallelujah. And uh, we're going to be looking at some things that uh, the Lord will reveal into us, speak to us today. In Jesus' name. Glory to God. 
Let's go to the uh, scripture, the book of Ezekiel. The book of Ezekiel. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Ezekiel. Ezekiel 36, 37. Amen. Sade bada bada mano si de de bebe abara dosh. Hallelujah. The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones and caused me to pass by them round about and behold there were very many in the valley. And lo, they were very dry. Hallelujah. And he said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he answered, Lo, they were very dry. Can these bones live? Can these bones live? Prophesy upon these dry bones. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. We have been asking that the heavens be opened. Because until the life of an individual's heavens are open, you will live under struggle. When the heavens are open, you are connected. When the heavens are open, meaning when your portals are open, there is what they call angelic manifestations, supernatural manifestations. It is during these manifestations that men are propelled to live the extraordinary life. Hallelujah. When you study through the scriptures, you realize that great men's life were imparted by the strange hand of God. Ezekiel could not be prophesy, could not prophesy ordinarily. Ezekiel could not. This dry bone speaks of location. Speaks of location. And the Bible says the hand of God carried Ezekiel to a different place. To a place that he needs to address. Amen. The value of the dry bones in Israel where bone, men's of bones were kept. I believe it was a graveyard. Hallelujah. I believe it was a graveyard. A graveyard where people have died. But God released upon Ezekiel, carried him up by the inspiration of God. Amen. I want to say to you today, if God, the hand of God comes upon your life, there is a strange unction that comes upon you, an audacity that comes upon you. You begin to speak to situations that seem mountainous before you. Amen. And But when this glory comes upon your life, it's something that begins to settle matters. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. I don't know what happened. Amen. Glory to God. I don't know what happened, but... We are caught short all of a sudden. Amen. Please log in. Hallelujah. Amen. Sorry for the short bro <laughs> short interruption on the phone. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Zande Badara Babaka Sondo Rose. Just a second. Hallelujah. I don't know why what happened. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit of Grace. We we'll love you, Father. We we'll love you. We we'll love you. Please go ahead and join. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God bless you. I'm sorry for that interruption. Amen. And the hand of God was upon me, carried me out. And now when the hand of God comes upon you, there is a strange unction that has been released upon, over your destiny. Amen. You begin to move in an extraordinary speed. And I'm prophesying that in this season, that the hand of God will begin to find you. Hallelujah. Where, it, where, where somehow, listen to me, when God begins to release the strange hand upon you and the hand of mercy, the Bible says Jesus sat on the right hand of God. Right hand symbolizes the place of power. In this season, God is releasing mantles, mantles of the spirit, mantles of the prophetic, mantles of fire. Amen. Extend and invite people, please. Extend and invite people. I don't know, suddenly I pressed a button and it cut off people. Amen. So please, on Periscope, amen, hallelujah. It will really, it will really be a joy to spread the information. Hallelujah. Invite other people. Let them join quickly. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. 
glory to God. Praise God. Praise God. Father, I release the strange hand of God. Let the hand of your presence and the hand of favor be released over your people in those on periscope. Let their ear gates, their eye gates be open on those on the prayer line. Let them receive a special divine touch from you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you. We give you the praise. Hallelujah. And so we see that the hand of God begins to work in the life of individual is a different thing because what is the hand of god and let us look at what is the hand of god the hand of god amen hallelujah is when you always focus on the hand you see through the hand there was something that happened with the, with moses moses was a man who killed and after he had killed amen hallelujah um years later when god met him and began to visit him and begin to minister to him and begin to impart him and touch his life he says put your hand in your bosom he brought it out he was leprous god was showing him that even though whatsoever you sow, that shall you reap. But the enemy begin to cover the glory that is upon his hands. He put his hands back in the bosom, brought it out again, and God restored his hands fully. Hallelujah. Anyway, amen. When his hands was now fully restored, hallelujah. Now, proud to that, when he put his hands and brought it, put it and brought it out, it was leprous. Leprosy means he was neglected. Leprosy means legally, when you study the book, when you study the Levitical order, you realize that those who carried that leprosy spirit were casted out of the city, casted out of people. Amen. They were they were ostracized. Amen. They were kicked out and pulled out from everyone. Amen. Hallelujah. And when you are pulled out, neglected, or cut out, cut off from everybody, something unique usually happens. It's almost like because of the plague that is over your body, over the plague over you. So now, he was carrying a spiritual leprous because of the accuser of the bedroom, what he had done in the past. So this was haunting him. But when God wanted to raise him, God had to heal and visit that area. He said, son, in, in order for you to go to a place of power, I need to work with your hands. I need to perform some signs, some wonders with your hands. Hallelujah. And God began to change the situation, the dynamics of his hands. Hallelujah. When God began to restore grace, amen, hallelujah, his hands became normal. Now I want to speak specifically on the hand of God. The hand of God is the hand that supplies. It's the hand that releases blessings. It's the hand that sometimes when we ask, we ask, we ask. We, we go before a Santa Claus. A Santa Claus always releases a blessing. When you see a hand come before you, it's to release a blessing. The hand symbolizes provision. The hand is a, is a symbol of provision. Amen. Hallelujah. The hand is a symbol of deliverance. The hand is, releases prosperity. Hallelujah. The hand is, releases authority. When the hand of God comes, now it all depends the left hand or the right hand but the right hand is a major tool that uses is a power tool it's a power hand when the right hand you know, we all know that um, um hallelujah we all know that isaac placed his hand manasseh and joseph i mean or uh, sorry joseph brought the children amen before isaac Hallelujah. Oh, before Jacob, sorry. And then Jacob laid his hands, amen, hallelujah, uh, and crossed his hands. But it says, no, so, Father, the right hand is a place is, is for the elders, it's for the leaders. Why? Because the right hand has so much potency and so much power and so much authority. Hallelujah. So much authority relies on the hand. Today, in the name of Jesus Christ, whatsoever has caged your hand, Whatsoever has turned your hand to leprosy, whatsoever has deformed your hands, whatsoever has paralyzed the fever, the grace, the energy, the prosperity upon your hands. Look at what it says in Psalm 8. Let's quickly go there. Psalm 8. Psalm 8. Familiar scriptures with Hallelujah. Psalm 8. O Lord our God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. Amen. Who has set your glory above the heavens? Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings, you have ordained strength because of your mouth, because of your enemies, that you mightiest steal there, the enemy and the avenger. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings, have you ordained strength? Hallelujah. Have you ordained strength? Who, do have, who are babies? Babies who are still drinking milk. Babies who have not yet matured. Babies, listen to me. Don't never feel depressed of your position. Never feel depressed that you have not matured yet in God. But God is actually trying to say, even in your weakness, even in your identity, even in your location, even in your status, where you are in the spirit. Amen. 
that doesn't mean that you don't have an, a power with God. God is trying to tell you, he says, listen to me, no matter where you are, strength and power and authority has been reserved inside of you. If you will rise in authority, if you will rise with God and you will begin to operate in the dimension of where you are, listen to me, God will back you up. Look at what it says, out of the mouth of babes and sucklings have you ordained strength because of your enemies, that ye might steal the enemy, that ye might steal the enemy and the avenger. Hallelujah. Can you also realize that there is a voice, there is a power, there is an anointing, there is a grace that is upon you to steal the enemy, to silence the voice of the enemy, to overpower the enemy when he rises up against you? Do you ever feel like you don't have the authority of God? Listen to me. It's not you that is doing it. It's your words. Just make the decree. You will see angels go around you. As I'm talking now, I have an angel behind me. Strange. I have an angel behind me. And once I acknowledge it, I could feel the heat in my in my left hand. Amen. Once I acknowledge that, I could acknowledge the supernatural, and it, everything goes into action. If I fail to acknowledge it, amen, then I begin to walk more consciously on the earth. But when you have, when you be, when you are conscious of your environment and you realize that you are you are surrounded by innumerable company of angels, amen, you go into divine battle. Hallelujah. I pray for you in the name of Jesus, according to Zechariah 2 5. He will be a wall of fire round about us and be a glory in the midst of thee. Let the Lord be a glory in the midst of you. I decree a wall of fire round about you, round about your thoughts, round about your life in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. I ask, oh God, that right now that everyone listening to me, that they will be clothed with the, with the armor, with the armor of God. Let the armor of light be released over them now in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Look at what it says. Let's keep reading. When I consider the heavens and the works of your fingers. Remember, we prayed on heavens today. And the works of your fingers, the moon, the stars which you've ordained. What is man that you are mindful of him? And the son of man that you visited him? He said, you have made him a little lower than the angels and have crowned him with glory and with honor. He's talking about the identity of man. He's talking about men's position, what they need to have. Uh, what is the original state of man before they follow, before sin came upon them? Hallelujah. It says, well, what is, it said, you have made him a little lower than the angels and have crowned him with glory and honor. Every man has a glory and every man has a honor on their lives. But you have, it says, verse 6, you have made him to have dominion over the works of your hands. You have made him to have dominion over the works of the hands. Hallelujah. And you have put all things under his feet. Hallelujah. You have made him to have what? Dominion. Somebody said dominion over the works of the hands. When God releases dominion over your hands, amen, you will strike the water into pathways. Amen. You will say, son, stand still. Stretch out your hands and say, son, stand still. And so shall it be. You will raise up your hands and you say, every sick man be healed and it will happen. Amen. Because why? God has placed dominion upon your hands. Now, when the enemy has covered you, covered the work of your hands, amen, paralyzed it in your spirit, it deactivated it, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? And that's why we are here today. The hand of God is very, very effective. It is very, very powerful. Hallelujah. When the hand of God comes upon you, if God releases his hand upon you, if God releases his hand, his grace upon you, you begin to feel something unique upon your destiny. Hallelujah. Fret not in this season. Fret not in this season. Fret not in this season. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yeah. Let's go to, I was saying that the book of Daniel. 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 This season is a very, very powerful season. Trust me. What the Lord is about to do in this season. When God begins to untie your hands, when God begins to anoint your hands, when God begins to empower your hands with grace, when the fire of His presence enters these hands, you begin to do extraordinary things. Through the hands of Samson, there was so much wonders that he did. He himself doubted what was happening to him. It's because the hand of Jesus came upon his hands. Today, God is going to heal some certain hands that has been tied in the spirit, paralyzed, deactivated, because through these hands, the healing power is being released. Every time you find yourself doing some things and you never finish, it's because these hands have been deactivated. The power of procrastination 
comes as a result of the attack over your hands. Whatever is keeping you stagnant must be broken in the name of Jesus. When God wants to judge the enemies, he makes sure he addresses, he uses his hands. When he wants to release his love, it's through his hands. When he wants to impart, it's through his hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mondo Robo Sukada Bahayas. Eleven de Lebe Bebe Ridivia Parados. I want to thank God for what is what is going to happen in your life. Amen. Um, in the next few months, few days from now, I want to invite you to the New York event. It's going to be special. Hallelujah. Very, very special. Glory to God. Very, um, maybe let's go to the book of Daniel. An interesting book. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord Jesus. The hand of God. Mm. Ale abante le baby abarando le baby osunda bahaya. Ile gede le badala babadli osunda bede le baby kabarados. O radare bazanda bada baby. In Daniel chapter five. Mm. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. We give you the praise. Daniel chapter 5. This is what happens when the hand of God is upon an individual. Hallelujah. Amen. Hmm. Glory to God. Levrobo Subranda Ribia Paradish. E lege de le basunda bada bada di bibios. E ragada raba baba 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 shande de bebe capaliatis. So de vende dia caduz. Hallelujah. 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 Okay, look at what it says. It's verse 1. Oh, I'm reading verse 6. <laughs> hey, look at what it says in verse 5. Okay, chapter 5. Amen. Hallelujah. And man, Belshazzar, the king, made a great feast to a thousand of his lords and drank wine before the thousands. Amen. Are you hearing me today? Hallelujah. Let's pay attention here. Holy Spirit of God, have your way. He made a great feast to the thousand of the lords and drank wine before the thousand. Belshazzar, while he tasted wine, commanded to bring the golden and the silver vessel which his father Nebuchadnezzar had taken out of the temple which was in Jerusalem, that the king and his princes, his wives and his concubines might drink. Then they brought the golden vessels that were taken out of the temple of the house of God, which was at Jerusalem. The king and the princes and his wives and the concubines, they drank wine. Amen. Now let's let's keep going. In the same hour came forth the finger of a man's hand and wrote opposite the candlesticks upon the plastery of the wall. The king's palace and the king saw the part of the hand that wrote. Then the king's countenance was changed and his wrath troubled him so that the joint of his loins were loose and his knees smote one against another. And the king cried aloud to bring in the astrologers. This guy was celebrating. He was celebrating. He was feasting. He was enjoying. Using, defiling the things that were for the Lord. The holy things that were kept in the temple. And while he was attempting and doing all these things lack of fear we don't know what it was as he began to enjoy began to celebrate something happened God wrote on the wall mene mene teke fasen let's go back again let's go back then they brought Belshazzar, while he tasted the wine, commanded to bring the golden and the silver vessels, which his father, Nebuchadnezzar, had taken out of the temple, 
which was in Jerusalem, that the king and his princes and his wife and his concubines might drink therein. Pay attention to this revelation. Then they brought the vessel, the golden vessels, that were taken out of the temple of the house of God, which was in Jerusalem. The king and his princes and his wives and his concubines drank in them. Yes, you're looking at it as just a vessels, but you see in the book of Timothy, Second Timothy chapter two, verse uh, twenty to twenty, uh, it talked about in a great house, they not only vessels of gold and of silver, some to honor and some to dishonor. But if a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be fit for the master's use. Now we are looking that if a man has been reserved for God. And now that man who is consecrated to God will take that individual, take that vessel, and we begin to use it for our own personal use. We begin to take the word that which has, is, is now reserved for God's glory and begin to pervert it for our own personal agenda. We can inquire the judgment of God. Many people have brought or misplaced the judgment of God. We are the vessels of God. And do you know that somehow, if we don't maintain the glory of God within our lives, we can attract judgment upon us on how we treat the body of God. In our lives, in our souls, in our spirits, amen, we all carry the cardboard of his presence. Uzzah straight forth his hands to the ark, and the ark was about to hit the ground, he struck for his hands. And the Bible says he struck Uzzah, Uzzah died. Why? You cannot operate in the flesh to interrupt the works of God. And so we are seeing here that these guys brought these vessels to be polluted by carnal things. And immediately God says, your season is over. How many times in our lives, in our destinies, in our ministries, where we lack the fear of God? many times we approach matters like this we feel like now we can now go anywhere go to club we can go out and party with our friends we can expose ourselves to all kinds of nonsense forgetting to understand that god watches over us forgetting to understand that we are carriers of his glory we are the temple of the living god whatever we mess up whatever we screw up can either dethrone us because when God wants to move quietly out of us or walk away quietly sometimes he doesn't let us know but sometimes he will caution us to repent before the light is eventually quenched hallelujah we must preserve the verses of God let's not be carried away let's not be carried away to bring pollution into what was once consecrated By this revelation saying that the days are numbered. Look at what it says. Look at what it says in verse 10. Now the queen, by reason of the words of the king and his lords, came into the banquet house. And the queen spoke and said, O king, live forever. Let not your thoughts trouble you, nor let your countenance be changed. There is a man in your kingdom in whom the spirit of the holy gods, and in the days of your fathers, light and understanding and wisdom, like the wisdom of the gods, was found in him. Whom the kingdom Danesa, your father, the king, I say, your father, made master of the magician, astrologers, and chaldeans, and Susia. For as much as an excellent and knowledge and understanding, interpretation of dreams, showing forth of hard sentences, uh, amen, dissolving of doubts, were found in the same Daniel. Whom the king, hallelujah. Look at what it says. Then, then was Daniel brought before the king. And the king spake and said to Daniel, Are you that Daniel, which are the children of the captivity of Judah, whom the king, my father, brought out of Jerusalem? 
I have even heard of you that the spirit of the gods is in you and you light and understand. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This guy came and he began to interpret. Look at what it says. In verse 16, and I heard of you that you can interpret, dissolve doubt. Now, if you can read, if you can read the, the interpretation thereon, ye shall be clothed with scarlet and have a chain of gold about your neck and shall be the third ruler in the kingdom. Then Daniel answered and said before the king, Let your gifts be to yourself. Give your reward to another. Yet I will read the writing to the king and make known to him the interpretation. O ye king, the Most High, gave Nebuchadnezzar your father a kingdom, majesty, and glory and honor. For the majesty that he gave him, all the people of the nations, languages, and trembled and feared before him whom he would he, he slew and whom he would keep alive now look look at this now verse 20 but when his heart was lifted up his mind hardened in pride remember that word hardened in pride remember that word hardened in pride when a man's heart has been hardened in pride oh boy is 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 scary um that's why we have to spend time hardened in pride so it means that there's there is a, there's, there's a relationship between hardiness of the heart and pride pharaoh hardness of god i will harden his heart that i might destroy him so once you feel that you can't share tears again once you feel like it's hard to break down in god's presence when you feel like there is a rock in your heart it's time to retract and make sure your heart breaks in the secret hallelujah get because something has entered in there hallelujah but look how this is and for the majesty that he gave him all the nations hallelujah where was i okay all right verse 20 but when his heart was lifted up his mind had in a pride he was disposed from his kingly throne and they took his glory from him they took his glory from him now and it was driven from the source of men. I don't want to really go that far. Amen. But look at what it says, uh, verse 22. And you, his son, O Belshazzar, have not humbled your heart, though you knew all this, but have lifted up yourself against the Lord of heaven. And they have brought the verses of his house before you. And you and your lords and your wives and your concubines have praised the God of silver and of brass iron wood and stone which you see in whose hand your breath is and in whose whose are all your ways have you not glorified there was a part of the hand sent from him and this writing was written this is the writing that is written mene mene teken ufasin this is interpretation mene god has numbered your kingdom and finished it Taken, you are weighed in balances and found wanting. Perez, your kingdom is divided, given to the Medes and the Persians. Then commanded Bashaza and they clothed Daniel with scarlet and chain. You see, in that night, Meshaza, the king of Chadians, and Darius the king took the kingdom, being about three score years. Wow. 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 So as he spoke that same day or that same night, we see something that he lost. That prophecy came to pass. But Daniel too was exalted. Ah. My Jesus. Lord help us. My Jesus. God help us. When the vessels of the Lord was literally abuse take it for granted amen when things begin to have access into our lives and our vessels we saw some things that begin to erupt in interrupt in, in, in the house of god and god said you know what Belshazzar, whatever it is you are making a mistake a blunder and we, we wonder here how daniel said you can keep your abuse give it to somebody else he still received it He had to separate himself from the enticement, from the gifts that was sent, released to entice him. 
that's why as a jewish man he said you know what keep your gift give it to somebody else because he knew what he was about to say could be offensive he knew that if you're going to manipulate me those things i'm not here as a servant of god to speak what you want you would love to hear hallelujah the reason why he was upset was because these were the items that was captured from israel and he is part of israel people don't know that daniel was the man who brought the hand of god through prayer to that city god cannot just come into a place and rock the whole babylon no amen it has to be a man of prayer to invade the place i give you an instance if the devil come and steal something from your life if you fold your hands god will not visit the, those people and says we turn it back except you have a stronger and close work with jesus over years amen but we are seeing something here that daniel through his prayers we don't know what he was saying but we see that it was said that daniel was in charge of the witches the chadians the magicians the king made him the, the man in charge. So in other words, God begin, he began to pray, Lord, bring the fear of God in this nation, in this city. Quake them with the fear of God. Shake them with the fear of God. But my father, they are misusing what you've done in the house of God. As you've humbled Nebuchadnezzar, please humble the son. Humble the son, shake him. And after such prayers, the hand of God came. While they were bringing the verses of God, God's hand inter interrupted. These are the prayers we need for our nation, for our lives, for our families. Amen? And suddenly, that was the end of this guy. After Daniel pronounced his words, in that night was Mechazah, verse 13, the king of the Chaldeans slain. Wow, that night he was killed. He was killed. So, the last thing that happened, this guy was promoted. Daniel was promoted, and after the promotion, this guy was, was slain, cut off. Because if you see the audacity at which Daniel was speaking to the king, it was like, I don't care what you're gonna do to me. I'm just telling you. It's, look at what it says in verse 23. But you, but you have lifted up yourself against the Lord of heaven. And they have brought the verses of his house. My Jesus. You're con you begin to mention names. Nowadays, we men of God, we see men of God go before the president's house. And they'll say, oh, your highness, with all due respect, you try to all be nice and all these protocols. This guy just gave the word of God and that was it. That night he was taken off. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever we occupy our hearts. Amen. To make us forget yesterday. That the Lord will help us. Amen. To walk that walk. And remember to keep our eyes on God. And glorify him. Because the Bible says he never glorified God. He never thanked God for where he was coming from. We must always thank him. We must always appreciate him. For the, from, the, from the little and to the great height. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's, let us remove, choke that thing that is trying to clad our hearts from breaking down. Whatever is making the tears don't flow sporadically. Lord, break it away. Amen. Break it away. I get frustrated when my tears cannot flow. I get very agitated. Like, what is going on in the spirit? I want to shake off myself. Tears burst forth. Because I know something. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. The flesh is one of the most stubborn, 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 magnetizing spirit. You have to fight and battle this thing till it, it gives way. Because your flesh is the veil to the spirit. Once this flesh falls down, you are you and God will be enjoying. You'll be enjoying in swimming in love, in the, in the streams of love and glory. Amen. When the hand of God 
is being revealed. It's either for blessing or for a curse. This is the one of the first time. This first time that the hand of God was revealed. It was revealed when Moses waited for the Ten Commandments. The Bible says God with his hand rewards the Ten Commandments. He wrote the law. I'm praying that after today, God will write his word in your heart. God will establish you. And that same hand will come upon you. It's very special when God's hand rests upon you. Because when the hand of God rests upon your life, you don't go everywhere, but you make 100% impact. When the hand of God comes upon you, you are led supernaturally by Him. All the forces of delay are removed. When the hand of God comes upon you, you become very sensitive in the spirit. You sow little, you receive massive harvest. You begin to experience open doors. You begin to walk in an uncommon speed, uncommon acceleration when the hand of God is upon you. When the hand of God is upon you, it begins to guide you. Guide you with the shepherd's rod, with the scepter of authority. This is when you begin to rule in the midst of your enemies. When the hand of God comes upon your life, it activates every gift and talent in your life. It will take you to places that you begin to manifest His original purpose and assignment. The hand of God is very, very special that many people are propelled by the hand of the enemy. But they, they move under the directions of the hand of the spirit of this age. And when the hand of the enemy is upon you, you become very selfish and very greedy. Gain for material things. When the hand of God is upon you, you begin to receive instructions from heaven. You begin to receive counsels. Hallelujah. You, you are, you are, then all of a sudden, you begin to experience tangible presence of God. Hallelujah. I'm believing that in this hour, amen, as you hear the sound of my voice, that God's, God will begin to sustain you. God will begin to preserve you. God will begin to hide you. God will begin to conceal you. Amen. Hallelujah. We 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 are thankful for what the Lord is going to be doing today. We're really thankful. So right now, Amen. I want us to right now to go ahead and begin to talk to the Lord and say, God, Lord, by Your hand, Lord, I'm asking that Your hand come upon me now. Lord, I need the hand of God upon me. Lord, I want the hand of God to rest upon me. I want the hand of Your Spirit to rest upon me. Oh God, release your hand, your mighty hand, your mighty hand, your mighty hand, your mighty hand. Oh God, the hand of God. The Bible says that Daniel was found the excellency of God. The excellent, excellent, an excellent spirit. Lord, let the hand of you, the hand of grace, the hand of favor, that excellent spirit be upon me now. Go ahead and begin to pray. Oh Rapapa, Shikalabandele Bos, Ilabandele Berebia Baradi, Rogodorababoya Brondo de Bebia Baradi. Zegede de bebe de bebe ya barando de bebe o salabada libra da raba raba ga barando de bebe ga paradia zede de de bebe de bebe ya parando de bebe os sada da da ba le kate le bebe ka pa rogo do raba raba ba ko shede de bebe ka pa ya li ban tele bebe de bebe ka parandi oh go ahead and begin to pray now asking the lord livrande de bebe ka barando de bebe os Lord, let the hand of the Lord be upon you. Let the hand of God be upon you. Go ahead and begin to pray now.
Hallelujah. Lord, release your hand upon me, O God. Lebrando Radari Bebi. Shandede Bebe Gabala Bandele Katilia Kuduzwa. Lord, let your mighty hand be upon me, O God. The hand of your grace, the supernatural hand of God, let it rest upon me, O God. Father, let the hand of Jesus begin to talk to the Lord today hand of God rest upon me today in Jesus name you are telling God today amen you're going to talk to God today say Lord let the hand of God come upon my family come upon my children listen when the hand of God comes upon you it releases mercy amen you see the hand of God came upon Ezekiel and carried him up to the valley of the dry bones he wasn't everywhere he was taken to special places Lord let your hand be upon me let your hand be upon me. Let your hand be upon my ministry. Let your hand be upon my dream. Let your hand be upon my life. Let your hand be upon my finances. Everything about me. Oh, Jehovah, let the hand be upon me. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Lord, let your hand be upon me. Let your hand be upon my helpers. Let your hand be upon my destiny. Hand of the Lord, <laughs> In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. What a God we serve. Hallelujah. What a mighty God. What a glorious God. Amen. Finally, you're going to talk, talk to the Lord. Talk to the Lord Jesus. That you want to hear his voice today. That the Lord will speak to you specially. Especially today, 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 today. Whatever it is, Lord, I want to hear from you. I've heard from prophets, but I want to hear from you. I want to hear from you. 
Go ahead and begin to pray. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. In Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, the Lord bless everyone today. Hallelujah. Any quick question before we go? Any quick question before we go? Hallelujah. 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 Amen. I mean, I realize that... Um, even on Periscope, the internet has been very poor. Hallelujah. Very soon, we're going to do an update so that you can the internet will be very fast and quick. In Jesus' name. May God bless everyone today. Hallelujah. I love you guys. Hallelujah. Um, amen. Yeah, call me. Call me. 612-701-5983. Amen. Hallelujah. And uh, um, any other, let me see. Um, please keep in your special prayers, amen. As the event approaches, amen. hallelujah, there are bricks and there are walls of opposition, amen. In the spirit, I mean, heavy, heavy, heavy. So, please just keep me up in your prayers. We need, we need that prayers, we need it, we really need it, hallelujah, amen. amen. You are loved, and thank you so much for joining us today. If you need to join the intercessory group, amen. we have an app already open, already on WhatsApp for the intercessory group. Amen. I want you to be on the walls, be on a lot, so that you can be able to pray with us and amen. Really take it very, very serious. Just five minutes, ten minutes beside your bed and just begin to call on the leader's name and those on the you know the ministry and begin to pray for them in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you, the Lord keep you, the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and give you peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Anybody, anybody with a quick question before we go? Hallelujah. Amen. It's going to be an awesome time. You know, if you have not bought your tickets. You always like your blessing before you go, man of God. You look at two words. You always like your blessing. You say what? I said we always like your final blessing over us. Amen. Okay, praise God. Praise God. Who is this now? Iris, Iris, from Florida. God bless you. God bless you. Well, I pray that prayer. I pray the prayer again. Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray that the hand of God will rest upon every individual here on the sound of my voice. I pray you strengthen, I pray you revive, I pray you empower them, drive away every form of fear in the name of Jesus. I decree that the curse of the enemy over their lives is hereby broken and terminated in the name of Jesus. Every food, every demonic food that was consumed during the night Lord, by the blood of Jesus, we purge it out of their system. In the name of Jesus, we purge it out of their system. Every blessing that was stolen, I speak divine restoration. Restoration in the name of Jesus Christ. As you go from here, I decree that you will be a walking sign. You will be a walking wonder. In the name of Jesus, may the grace of God abide upon you. May he overshadow you. May he clothe you with his glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.
Well, God bless you. Be a carrier of His grace. Amen. All right. Send me your number. Text me your number. Uh, six one two. Okay. Um, if you're on Periscope, yes, my number. Text me. Six one two. Seven zero one five nine eight eight three. Amen. Oh, you are in London. Okay. All right. God bless you. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. Bye bye. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. Oh, bless you. Mm. Right. Goodbye.